Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Trace video and today we're going to be playing Superbike 22. So it's time for the official testing for the mid-season test here in Superbike and of course on board the Kawasaki we have two packages to choose from package A which I've been using for the majority of the season and package B a brand new complete package that's for us to try and see if it's any good. Now I'm already a little bit put off by the second package it's a much reduced power output and you know watching from the recent videos the power has been where we struggle sometimes so I don't really like the sound of that but I'll definitely give it a try it does have better tire consumption so I'm not going to be burning through my tires as quickly so I'll have to give that a try as well but for now straight back onto the original bike get a good feel for it once again and then we'll start looking at package B but to be quite honest with you guys I do think package A is going to be the package we'll choose from but back in Mazzano happy very very happy to be back in Mazzano we had some tough Grand Prix in the past couple of career mode races we went into Donington Park which was just an absolute disaster and then Most which was uh, a mixed bag but we ended on some very very positive results I'm rather looking forward to the next couple of Grand Prix I do think going into Mali Cause could be a struggle but Catalonia, track I know pretty well, pretty competitive there as well, so keen to see what we can produce in the Spanish track in Barcelona. But across the line, first time around here in Mazzano for the test, it's a 133.089. That's nothing too groundbreaking, and to be honest with you, I said a 131.1 in an online session a couple of weeks ago, a couple of days ago, I cannot remember when I did it, but it was a 131.1, and I was quite happy with that one, so a little bit wide into Rio. It's certainly not going to be an improvement on the lap time, but up against the hardest difficulty AI, 13th so far. Now, it doesn't really matter what position we finish in, as long as we're not dead last. I think we just need to focus solemnly on getting the bike fixed, or, well, excuse me, not fixed, but getting the bike sorted for the next couple of Grand Prix. I do feel like I've found something recently, especially in that Most Grand Prix, where we really took the fight to the AI, and no matter what they did, we kept responding, and... Speaking of responding, there is a man in front of you we really responded against. We defended with all of our might against Ika Lekarona ahead. And I would do it again in a heartbeat. I thoroughly enjoyed that Grand Prix and I hope you guys did too. I'm sure reading some of the comments it seems like you did. So, of course, if you are enjoying my career mode so far and you get to subscribe, now is a great time to do so since we're here in the Mazzano test. Now going into the left-hand side for turn 15. A little bit wide there. I do feel we could go tighter to the apex there, but now nice and firm on the brakes, bringing it in for the left-hand side, and we'll bring on the power. So across the line, we may improve across the line. No, not an improvement, so 133.4, but I'm not too concerned about the lap times right now. As I mentioned, I would like to, maybe towards the end of the video, start chucking in some really fast-paced lap times, but for now, we're just getting a good feel for the bike, and trying to figure out its weaknesses. So breaking into turn four then, a little bit wide once again. A little bit sluggish going into the fourth corner this time around, but a quick upshift to second as we now launch it to the left-hand side. Actually held off the second gear apparently, and now we start upshifting the gears. Usually uh, my new preferred technique for that is to upshift into second as you get the change of direction, and then bring on the power, because if you're in first gear as you bring on the power, the bike can start slip and slide, so we want to avoid that here in Mazzano right now. So speaking of the tyres as well guys, uh, SC1 and SCX are the two tyres I'm going to be using in today's video. Now I can change it around and maybe I will, but I'm trying to get the feel for the bike rather than what tyres we're using or anything else. No real transmission change or anything for this one, just completely bog standard. Suspension settings, yes I've got my little setup that I do prefer on Superbike 22 so I do think that's a good thing but going wide into Caro even though we were only back, uh, only down by 74 thousandth of a second and we'll see where we put ourselves across the line after we cross the Mazzano corner or here we are into the final corner for Mazzano and we will fire it down the straight and hopefully make a big improvement across the line it's a 132.951 so we have improved not a significantly better lap, but it's a bit better than what uh, I was expecting, I guess. So I th actually, no, I think, I think if anything, I'm expecting a lot better. We, we won all three Grand Prix in Mazzano. From pole position, we took 
maximum amount of points. And speaking of maximum amount of points, I think we do need to claim a lot more points if we want to make this championship more interesting. We're, we're right up there in about fourth or fifth position, but we need a few more points. So Lara Bautista is pretty much right at the front with Ika Lekawon. And Lekawon has been absolutely fantastic in my career mode. He has been the man on a mission. He's been the man to beat, to be quite honest with you. But now to the right-hand side for Toronto, into turn nine, then into turn ten, which is Toronto there, nice and tight to the apex. We have closed in on Ika Lekawon ahead. The Valencian-born man on board the Honda is just a couple of bike lengths up there. We may or may not get in our way as we go into the final sector, but into Cavone and now to the right-hand side, into turn 12, then into turn 13, and nice and tight to the apex for going into Caro for 14. Across, ooh, across the sector there, 41 thousandths of a second up compared to Bautista's time. So to the left-hand side, what a bizarre spot for Lecorne to start breaking early then. Give that man a penalty. <laughs> but to the left-hand side for Mazzano. Now bringing on the power. We may get the top spot across the line. Across the line it is. Down by 97 thousandths of a second. But now it's more important things about chasing lap times in here. We need to test out package B. So as you can see, complete carbon fibre livery. Nothing's particularly special. It's down to understanding if this package is the one that's going to take us to a better championship position or if it's going to stay in the garage and go back to Tokyo as a failed job. But now we'll go back into the rhythm of pushing the bike and getting a feeling for it. Down by four tenths of a second. Still not really got my rhythm into the first split at this point. And also something else to mention, which I think I've neglected to mention, this video was actually recorded before I got my brand new GPU, so this was actually recorded with NVIDIA's Shadow Play. So if the quality is a little bit different to what you've seen recently, that'll be why. But Intra Tremonto, a tenth of a second down, not looking that bad to be honest with you. But now we have to make that decision because some tracks require a lot of power, some tracks really don't. Like Estoril we managed absolutely fine, and same can be said for Assen without that power. When it came to Aragon, we really struggled, so there's different pros and cons to every package and every bike. Here in Mazzano, the Kawasaki ran perfectly well, even with the bog-standard Kawasaki that which, he, which we had. I've only done a couple of upgrades, but the majority of them now have been complete on the power side of things. A few framework as well, but very limited on the electronics. We're just focusing really on the... Uh, on on the uh, engine performance and that uh, achievement unlock to have caught me off guard back down there. I'd say I'm a big fan of collecting achievements and I'm happy to see that an achievement has been acquired. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys uh, caught the achievement there, but in the bottom right hand corner of the screen we did just unlock an achievement and uh, I guess that's my proof that I'm playing on PC if you if you didn't know. And speaking of PC, we're bound to be doing another live stream at the weekend so if you want to hop in and join in with us, you're more than welcome. We're probably doing some more Superbike 22. But now on our second lap, 34, uh, 32.623, so only a couple of tenths down compared to Package A. It doesn't feel that bad, but I just know we need that power. And without that power, I don't think we can be championship contenders. And I think we already had the power. It was just a case of finding our feet, learning the brakes in a better way, and understanding the Kawasaki. And I think sticking with Package 1, or Package A, should I say, is the way to go, but let's see if we can improve the lap time anyway. So into turn 12 and into turn 13, pretty good so far. A little bit slow up on the exit there, and a little bit slow up on the brakes for Caro. The, the feeling isn't quite as nice, but I'm still happy with the way it moves around. It, it's a bit more nimble, but it's also a bit more stable than what we've been using. But I kind of like having the bike loose. I mean, we've won races, we've been on the podium many times. We don't really need to worry about changing the entire bike. I think it's just a case of stick to what we know. <laughs> I really do think that way, but I'll ask you guys, what kind of bike do you prefer? Do you prefer a bike with a lot of power that you can dominate on the straights? Do you prefer a nimble machine that you can just chuck in every other corner? Or is your focus upon braking and having the best bike to stop, like top rack, for example, rather than speed or agility or nimbility, as I like to say, <laughs> which is basically just nimbleness. <laughs> So a quick recap of the previous lap, say 132.623 is our fastest lap, which was set in the previous one. And the last one was a 132.7, so not 
bad, but again, as once reiterated and reiterated many times before, it's not quite as good as Package A, and I don't know why the time threshold on this one is a 135. I mean, if that... It wasn't like that in Donington when I did the practice. They were quite brutal, but here in Mazar, they're kind of chilled about the lap time, so 135 is very... Very doable, we shouldn't have any issues with that one, but now into the fastest section of Mizano, into Cabonia, and now onto the rumble strip, and come on, massive moment! Look at that for a crash! Oh, that is egregious! Oh, that's nasty! So, bite back in the garage. <laughs> I think Ryder has had a change of leathers, and maybe a cup of tea to settle down, but bloody hell, that was a horrific crash. So, back onto Package A, let's see how the feeling is after trying Package B. Is it going to be the big improvement that I'm expecting? I am really expecting this to feel completely different, but it doesn't really feel that much different. I think the proof will be in the pudding when it comes to the lap time. So down by four and a half tenths of a second in that first split. That's not what I expected. I mean, it's not a problem because we are very fast into the second, third and fourth split. But losing four tenths in the first is uh, a bit of a finger wag as far as I'm concerned. I'm not really pleased with that one, but... Bringing on the power out of Quirchu and then firm on the brakes for going into turn 9 and to turn 10, which is otherwise known as Tremonto, as we now bring on the power. Power setting 3, much better speed on the exit and on the straight, better acceleration as well to be fair with package A. Now keep it in nice and tight to Cavoni, keep away from the rumble strip this time around if we can, start braking in for 12, keep it in for the curb of 13 and then start to break for 14 for Caro. So firm on the brakes, we are up by 62,000 of a second. Yes, that speed has made a difference. The bike does feel better, but that's too tight to the apex. So, oh, ho, 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 ho. goodness me. That was a bit too eager to get a better lap time there, but ignoring that, we've got a couple more laps in me yet. Let's do a few more, and then let's have a look, see what best lap time we can do. I would rather finish top. You know, a bit of bit of confidence going into many cores. It's what I'm looking for, and I feel like I found something, and I feel like I want to, I want to share it. I want to show my skills off right now. So Tati Mercado in the way. Can you move out of the way, pal? He's only second package as we go firm on the brakes for Rio. Bring on the power. Keep it in nice and tight. L little change to the direction there. Little quick upshift a second. Bring on the power. Only down by two and a half tenths of a second. This could be a pretty special lap time. Firm on the brakes will go for Quirchia. Keep it in nice and tight to the apex on the left-hand side. Can't get any tighter than that. Bring on the power. Probably should have run it a little bit wide and then brought it back in, but it's quite okay. Firm on the anchors will go for turn nine. Up into the second split. So it's a red sector time for the second one. That's good. This is better. This is coming now, isn't it? You can see it. It's all piecing well together. We'll bring on the power. Hopefully we don't muck it up into... Turn 13 and uh, 14 like we did earlier. To Cavone, we managed to avoid the, the the curb, the rumble strip. Keep it in there nice and tight to the right hand side for 13. Firm on the brakes will go for 14 and we're up by two tenths of a second. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Quick upshift there to avoid the spinning of the rear tyre. Nice and tight to the apex of 15 without abusing it. Firm on the brakes for Mazzano for turn 16. Keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Bring on the power, run on the rumble strip. Keep in line and across the line. This may be a 131. Oh, a 132.098. But guys, that's the Mazzano test. There's no doubt in my mind we're picking package A, although the lap times were pretty decent with package B. But I'm sticking with package A. So guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section down below which package you would choose. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. So like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.